How much is this? 600 naira, the money I want to agree on. I'll be rushing off. I have an important meeting. Come now. Is that all you want to give to me? But that's what we agreed on. Can't you see the work is too much? Can't you see it? Huh? Maggie. Maggie. Where are you going? I am going back to my parents' house. Why? But I did not ask you to leave. I don't care. I can no longer stay with a husband who cannot protect me. Eh? Every time you're supporting the neighbors against me. Or are you sleeping with any of them? Uh, uh, don't talk like that. You know very well that Ujia is pregnant. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I am going. In that case, if you step out of this house, don't you ever come back. I won't. I will not come back, foolish man. Maji! Maji! <laughs> Paid you what we agreed on. So what else? Okay. Okay. Take it. You can go and finish the remaining one by yourself. Obidike. Obidike. You know, things are very hard. Uh, can you even believe that I had to pay 15,000 Naira for my brake pad yesterday? Pad? Yes, for my car. Anyway, you're talking to yourself. When you bring more money, I will come and finish it. Give me a knife. Obidike. Obidike. Obidike, come back here. Obidike. Eh. Obidike. You swine! Huh? What did you call me? Huh? My father is a swine! Look at his head!
Chineke! Ikem! <laughs> Come and see Ikem for now. I'm just arriving. How is Lagos? Oh, as Lagos has always been. <laughs> so, did you come to see me or you were going to your sister's house? Oh, I came to see you. I'll come and see my sister later. <laughs> it is nice to know that we are still in Portanto. He <gasps> came. He came. Whose car is this? It's mine. You bought the car? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congratulations, Kim! <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, very serious. <sighs> now I know this Lagos girls will not leave you open. Oh, come now. You know I have eyes only for you. <laughs> Good boy. Who is even interested in yourself? I know you are. Anyway, where are you off to? Choir practice. Okay. Hop in, let me drop you. Oh, come on. Thank <laughs> you. Mm. Been a long time. Mm. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. <laughs> come on. Let me give you the star treatment. Hey. Kim, this is a big home. Is it this time? Mama, it's all over. I am through with you today. I'm not going back to that house again. Why? How did it happen this time around? Mama, he uses me as his punching bag. Look at my face. Look at. He goes out drinking, and when he comes back, I become his plaything. Even this morning, he beat me up because I asked for feeding money. Me, I don't want to die in his house. I'm not going back to that house again. I'm not going back to that house again. Every day he keeps beating me, beating me. Bastard! Bastard! Useless, greedy man! Do you think you can use me and get away with it? I wonder how we twist your neck. Yeah. Because, because you just made a little money. You think you can use me and get away with it? Because you just made a little money. Good evening. Huh? So you're back again. You're back again. I warned you. I warned you. What is the matter with that one? Who knows? Magic. Selling your things. When you have fully rested, we'll talk about this. Yes, ma'am. Thank 
God. Uh, we're, we're alive. <laughs> he came. Huh. Welcome. Machi, what, what are you doing at home? Your husband is at it again. That hopeless man wants to kill my daughter before her time. Okay. Welcome. They will be DK. You brought this? Yes. Good. Let people come. Let people like Dan Philemon come to use me like a papa again. I threw his money to his face this morning. Huh? Huh? Look at it. A cat or her name. <laughs> you bought this, sir? Yes, Papa, I did. <laughs> Congratulations, my son. This is uh, this is the reason I came. I also have a flat of my own, and now that business is picking up, I would want Deo Bidike to come with me to Lagos. There's no future here, but with two of us in Lagos, we'll surely find a way of making something out of our lives. Mm. You have spoken well, my son. May God be praised. Amen. Hey. Uh, Obidike is a man. The decision is his to make. Obidike. You know the way is fast, so the earlier I leave, the earlier I'll get there. Hmm. Did you say you come? I don't know. Okay, maybe when I finish my exams. Ah, that'll be the end of the year. Okay, what's the hurry? You have to hurry up or before Lagos girls steal me away. Let them try it. Let them just try it. Then I'll show them why I am called Rosemary Otiba. <laughs> I'll come. Okay. Come. Have this and buy something for yourself. Oh. Come on, take it. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll write you when I get back. I'll be waiting. Take care of yourself, all right? Okay. You want to say hi to my brother? Yeah. They'll be dicky. Good morning. Oh, my dear. How are you? Fine, sir. Save Johnny. Oh, thank you very much. Save Johnny. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm. Take care of yourself. Okay. okay. I'll be expecting you. I'll be waiting for that right. Okay. Take care of yourself. Is it? What was all that for? What? What just happened now? How do you mean? Was that not Otiba's daughter? Uh -huh. Was it not her father's brother's son that almost killed your, 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 your sister? Were you not a witness to what happened to her? So what has that got to do with Rosemary? Uh -huh. So you must waste all your money on her. 
Look, I just decided to give a friend of mine some money to help her out. I don't see any problem with that. Okay, okay. While you are dashing money here and there, remember you have responsibilities. I don't need to be reminded of them. Where you live? Yes. Uh, over there, right up. How do you know which one is your house? <laughs> Dear, don't worry, you'll soon get used to it. Uh, let me bring out your bag so we can go inside. This way. Don't worry, by the time you stay here for a few weeks, you, you'll get used to everything. Let's go. This way. say that now. I had to put all of this together first. That's why I came to pick you. Hey, this is life now. If we won't continue sitting on this kind of seat all the time, who wants bottom will be as soft as baby soon? <laughs> What is wrong with it? This is too much for a man to eat. But there are two of us. So this is how you feed every morning. While those of us in the village go hungry every day. Again. Day, I am doing all I can to help the people in the village. I can't do it all at the same time. I'm not saying you are not trying. I just want you to remember that there are some people Looking up to you, he came. Don't forget your responsibilities. They here. You can have this in case you need to buy anything. I'll go to the market later on and get you some clothes. You don't want to eat again? I'm already late. You see it? You see what I'm saying? Eh? Is this no waste of food while some people are not sure of what to eat this morning? 
What am I doing in Lagos? Do you, I don't understand. Did I come to Lagos to eat your food and stay at the four walls of your house? The things take time to shape up here. You have to learn the market first. Huh? Hey, poor To serve a position first. Why are you trying to upset yourself? I have not asked you to serve apprenticeship. I'm only asking you to be patient till I raise enough money to open a branch of my business for you. Oh, hey, hey. why? Send some money home. They were just came back from the village now and I left enough with them. That's not my business. I've used my eye to calculate all the money you've been spending for over two weeks. It can be too much. Stop wasting money. Stop wasting money. Look, Dave, I work very hard for my money and I don't think it's anybody's business how I spend it. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Don't give me headache. I mean, I can't do it. Now, I should go and do it. I can't. Somebody mm -hmm. The soup is for the night. So you have a night. Papa, you are welcome. You're welcome. Uh, you have a letter. A letter? Yeah. I have a letter. I guess it's from uh, Ikem. Ikem? Uh, What is it? Mama! Papa! <laughs> what is it? Only the guy said I should come down to Lagos, but my things have worked hard for him! <laughs> May God be praised! When does he want you to come? Papa, he said I should start coming down immediately. He's managing one of Ikem's shops. Hey! Nothing is wrong. Nothing. How are Papa and Mama? They are fine. 
fine. They send their greetings. Okay. But uh, uh, came, uh, I almost forgot to tell you. I sent for her. You did what? I sent for her. She's your sister. Is she not? Yes, and I was going to invite her myself. But we're not ready for her yet. You've not fully settled down and already you're sending for somebody else. Did you ask me if I can support both of you? My friend, stop complaining. After all, you are making enough money to support the Nigerian army. Unfortunately, you never like helping anybody. Look, Day, I don't like the language you're using. You just can't go ahead and invite people into my house without my consent. The woman is not people. And she's your sister. After all, she has right to come and enjoy whatever you're enjoying in this house. You still have no right to go ahead and invite her without letting me know first. Uh, are you insulting me? Uh, are you insulting me? Anyway, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It is because I'm living under your roof. Can you people be eating with pots like this? What will people say if they come in to see this kind of thing? Are you looking for who to insult? What do you mean am I looking for who to insult? Don't we have enough plates in the house? Isn't that the dining table? Now don't stop shouting. Is that a greeting you're supposed to greet to elders? If I live in this house, then I should be able to eat wherever I like. After all, in the village, eat wherever you like. Oh! This is not the village. This is my house. Bianule. Is it no lot is around we how? Bianule, is it no lot ya kawatro we ha? Ha, Boru don't and you got a see you. Mahui kumpu ojo, nanya karisi ya. Sister, this should be enough to buy some foodstuffs and also to prepare something for this evening. Did you lock 
pulls Mary out of the house. I said, why did you lock Rosemary out of the house? Lock who out of the house? You heard me very well. Why did you lock Rosemary out of the Rosemary house? Rosemary did not ask to enter the house. But you saw her sitting on the stairs. Ah. So if I see any riffraff from your Tigwa clan sitting on your staircase, I should throw the door wide open, carry them in with the full compliment of her local dancers. Look, don't be sarcastic. I invited Rosemary to Lagos and you have no right to treat her the way you just did. And I take exception to your calling her a riffraff. Mm. So I should start dancing because you invited a girl from that clan who has not started taking her back properly. Nonsense. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause any fights between you and your sister. It's okay. I'll sort things out. Come with me. Saved your food. Is that why you woke me up? Is that why you walked into my room without knocking? Sister, I'm sorry, it's just that I've served the food. I didn't want it to get cold. You didn't want it to get cold. You think you're smart, eh? You want me to go and eat the food now before the poison you put in it wears off? Oh. You think I don't know that all you want to do is to get rid of all of us so that you alone can enjoy my brother's money. But I tell you. You have failed. Now get out of my room! Stop. I said get out! Get out! I don't want to be responsible for the death of any member of your family. Rose. Rosemary is the girl I want to marry, and I demand some respect from both of you. Otherwise, I will not hesitate to ask you to leave my house. Something terrible has happened to your senses. Let me tell you, you will marry an Otiwa, but over my dead body. As of throwing me out of this house, <laughs> you don't know your elders anymore. I don't know what you have against Rosemary, 
But whatever it is, put it in your pocket. Because I will not take kindly to your treating her shabbily again. Rosemary! Rosemary! Out of my dead body! She has left to walk out of this house! She is not coming back! She is not coming back! She is not coming back! Your husband's people. Yes, Mama. Mwanya mm Kuzina. -hmm. Ah, she's a good girl. Oh. She served us during Yue Banko years back. Mama, you don't know her. That girl is a pretender. She swore that once she entered this family, Ikem will never come home again. Eh? She has already concluded plans with Ikem to build a house for her father while you still live in this house. He is even planning to throw us out of the house so that she can bring in her brothers. Huh? Uh, when do you propose to go back? Tuesday morning. Tell Ikem to stop whatever he's doing and make sure that he gets here immediately. Yes, Papa. Tell him that it is a matter of life and death. Yes, Papa. Ah, I want Ikem to be careful that he does not fall into wrong hands. See where he has ended. Is that all you have to say? Are we going to fold our hands and watch it happen? I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. So that you see her before they start the talk. Her name is Okachi. What talk? You marriage. What kind of nonsense is this? Hey, look here. I don't want to be uncivil to you, but I think it will be in your best interest to leave right now before I lose my temper. Leave! She's not going anywhere. Is that so? Yes. Okachi, 
What are you doing here? Eh? It's okay, it's okay. Look. I'm sorry about the way I treated you. I was angry. Please forgive me. No, thank you. I'm not angry with you. You said I was angry with me. It's okay, I'm no longer angry. You're a beautiful girl. You know what? Go to your room and lie down. Yes, I'll join you soon. Calm down now. This way. You can, what is the matter? You can have her back. But thank you, I don't want her. He came. If this is the reason why you summoned me from Lagos, then you had better release me, let me get back to my business. You will listen when I'm talking to you. You are not talking to me, Papa. You are ordering me to take somebody in and throw out the girl I want to marry just because Obidike and Machi think she's there to guzzle my money away. Where were they when I was sleeping in the gutters of Lagos? Do you know the kind of encouragement I have received from that girl you are asking me to throw out? Shineke, them giving my son something to eat. Mama, the only thing Rosemary has given me to eat is love and care. And I will have you know that I will eat it over and over and over again. I can see your heart is hardened. But if you will not take advice, you will not get my blessing on your marriage. Papa, if you do not bless me, God, who sees and knows everything, will bless me. You can come back. You don't talk to your father like that. Leave him. The eagle roams the sky, but it will end up in its small nest. He will come home. This is not the way to come and ask for a wife. Besides, my daughter has told me all she suffered in the hands of your sister and brother when she came to visit you. I do not think I want her to go through that again. Mama, I have not come to ask for a wife. I know the right thing to do. What I have come to do is ask Rose for forgiveness for the way she was treated. 
I have made my choice and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Rose, you know with me around nobody can treat you badly. Mama, I also want to let you know that as soon as possible, I'll come and make my intentions concrete. Rose, please accept my apologies. I'm sorry. Shut up! What kind of stupid bargaining is that? Do you think I am selling a lot here? Look, Mr. Shut man. up! Shut up! Poor man! Get out of my shop! You must be frustrated. Though. It is your great grandfather that is frustrated. Boy, you are not. Poor man. That's how they spoil people's day. Ah, it's 12 noon already. What am I doing here? Let me just park and go home. <laughs> She has gone out with the cage. You forget today is the day Ken is meeting with her parents for her wine carry. So he came has gone ahead to marry Rosemary. Despite everybody's opposition. What is even more worrisome is that Rosemary is making progress in this house despite everything. Good morning. Uh, you left before I woke up. 
Uh, how are you? Uh, play, 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 play. Uh, oh, I should go market. Uh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, market. Uh, okay. uh, yes, you are finished. Hey, you have not sold anything yet. Huh? I said you have not sold anything. Is it my fault? People are running away from your shop. Huh? Nobody has walked into this shop for the past two weeks. It's almost as if they are avoiding this shop. Avoiding? How? Why? How would I know? Am I in their minds? Uh, play, 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 play. Hey, if this continues, I may have to close this shop. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I want you to take a look at this. Can't you see a bit? What is inside it? The loan facility I took from the bank to open the shop for you is due for repayment. And you have not made any single return on the investment. So what am I supposed to do? Drag people from the street to come and buy something in your shop? Huh? I see people are running away from your shop. You are talking about returns. I'm trying to be reasonable. I don't know how you can be so, so nonchalant. If I don't pay back this loan by the end of the month, banks will close the shops and I'll be in a mess. That is your own responsibility. After you took the loan. So that's the thanks I get for trying to rescue you from waste, poverty and want in the village? Can't you allow me to eat in peace? You know you've always been a failure in everything. And you still are. Your sister called me a witch. She said I have been eating all the babies in my stomach. You, can. you know how hard I have tried to please your people. How I have wanted to get pregnant. It's okay. Is that all? My sister is a misguided person. I am the one that matters here, and I have not called you a witch. Pull yourself together. Children are a gift from God, and I am prepared to wait. Come on. Come on. Hey. You've not eaten. to the kitchen and prepare you something to eat. Is that okay? Come on, give me a smile. <laughs> That's better. I love you. Let me take you.
happens to Raja? Your sister poured soup on me. It came. Machi. This little girl had the guts to put two pieces of meat for me in my soup. I already explained to her that there were only two pieces of meat left in the house of both of us. And I gave them to her. She insisted I go and get me, but why? Shut up! So you decided to waste the soup by pouring it on her? carrying an unnecessary burden and it's affecting me. I think you should go back to the village since you're not doing anything here. They will be thinking, I have closed the shop at Alaba because you could not render any returns. And the bank is breathing down my neck. That simply means I should pack and return to the village. I have not said that yet. You don't have to say it for me to understand. Eh? You think we are your problem? Ike will open your eyes. Your problem is inside your bedroom. It is with the girl you married. Since you married that girl, and from the first day she stepped into this house, things turned upside down. She can't even conceive. I keep wondering if I came from the same womb with both of you. Wickedness flows in your veins. Machi, you were married for four years. Did you conceive for one day? And that was not because I was a witch like her, but because my useless husband, her brother, refused to touch me. Oh, don't give me that crap anymore. I now know what happened between you and your husband. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Is that what your wife has been telling you? I told you she's a witch. He came, open your eyes. You disgust me. Just go in there, pack your things, and leave. You don't have to force us. You don't have to force us. We will leave. But be rest assured that I, Obidike, will make sure you receive all your due reward for the way you treated us. You will not lay your hands on any family property. I pray for him, oh Mama. The way he came is going on with that girl. They will bring back his corpse to this house one day. No, God forbid. God forbid what? What is it? It is true. Eh? Look at what is happening to him now. His business has crumbled. Look, Mama. They're feeding from hand to mouth. Since that girl moved in, Ikem has completely changed. He is no more himself. Serves him right. Ikem deserves all that is happening to him. Because of that mannerless girl from Otiba clan, he came through us out of his house. We shall see how he will end up because I know one day he will come back crawling. And I, Obidike, will laugh at him. Walk on yo, walk on yo. Omo lo nwa jide nwa ya kana chimbode jirigo. Your brother is a very stubborn man. But it would do. The last time I came here, you said once his business starts crumbling, he will send his wife back in. His stubbornness is what is making him stay with his wife, despite everything. So what are we going to do? My daughter, Ibudu is your servant. Tell me what your heart desires. Rosemary called me a barren woman. Oh. Igudu, close her womb, plant a seed of discord between them. My brother will send her packing. Is that all you want from Igudu? Yes. <laughs> then consider it done. There is nothing wrong with either of you, as far as medical science is concerned. Oftentimes, these things go beyond medical science. Personally, I will advise the only thing we can do right now is to pray. In time, she will surely conceive.
driving. Where's your car? I didn't come back with it. What happened? It broke down somewhere. I put it up for sale. I thought you said you wanted to take it to the village. What's the point? I can't maintain it, so it's better for me to put it up for sale, raise some money and reinvest in my business. to your car. <laughs> I, I sold it, Mama. <laughs> you sold it. This is just the beginning. Should I serve your food now? He came, I'm talking to you. Did I tell you I was hungry? Eh? Did I tell you I was hungry? What did I do wrong? Look, stop this whining and pestering. I can't take any more of it. I can't. Why are you shouting at me? I only asked if I should serve your food. I don't want anything to eat. Is that enough for you? He doesn't talk to me anymore. He doesn't even eat my food. When did all this start? Since he came back from the village. I'm suddenly living with him, with a stranger. Pull yourself together. It's all right. Yourself together. I'm so confused. Things have been very rough. I think. I 
think there's another woman outside. No, don't even think about that. It is not your portion in Jesus' name. Look, whatever the problem is, our God will take control. Okay? Rose, there is nothing prayer cannot do. All we need to do is take it to God. Rose, whenever you have time, come. Let me take you to see my past. I believe that with God all things are possible. Hmm? to see a pastor. So those who go to see their pastors walk into their husband's houses at this time of the night? Maybe you should turn around and go back to your pastor's house. Ikem, I'm really sorry. But please, I don't want any troubles this night. Please. Look! <gasps> Next time you walk out of this house without my permission and come back this late, you will pack your things and leave. You're the cause of all the problems in this house. <laughs> What is it? Everybody can sit down. What happened? There was no food in this house today. And we are about to go to bed on an empty stomach. Mm. Your father's health is not improving. And there is no money to take him to the hospital. I suggest you go to Lagos and see your brother. Are you asking me to go and beg him after he threw us out of the house? It's not like that. No matter what may have happened, he is your brother. And we cannot continue like this, or else we'll all die of starvation soon. and oversees everything. I make this simple prayer to you. Whoever that is responsible for the confusion and misfortune in my family, let the person be exposed to. Let the person not have a good end. This I ask in the name of the Almighty God, our Lord. Amen. Father, I didn't do anything wrong by agreeing to marry this man. You have seen all that I have suffered and gone through in this house. If I am thrown out of this house today, Lord, 
Where is your justice? How do I stand up to all the people that mock you? Lord, I love this man. And all I want is to make him happy. Make our happiness complete, Lord. Bless us with a child and restore my husband's business. Father, remove that anger, that spirit of anger that has taken possession of his heart and give him peace. Pass it all understanding. This is the result of the test. Congratulations. Say she come home quickly. <coughs> this is my body, and I know how I feel. I don't have much longer to stay here, but. It would not be good to go without settling the problems of this family. Uh, my son, I know that we have wronged you in many ways. 
But I also know that you are a man with God on his side. In every way that we have wronged you, please forgive us. Eh? Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, my daughter Rosemary. Uh, it is ignorance that made the rat challenge the cat to a wrestling contest. Uh, <coughs> you must forgive us. You are welcome as a member of this family. Eh? And may God bless you. Amen. My daughter, I hope you will find it in your heart to forgive us. There is nothing to forgive, Mama. I have never had anything against you or anybody. I want to admonish all of you to live together in peace and harmony. You are all fruits of the same womb. The outsider, or whoever it may be, that will sow discord and confusion amongst you, may confusion follow him always. Amen. He that will put a stumbling block on the path of your progress, May his son set at noonday. Amen. Hey, OBDK. Now that things are like this, I think we should start thinking about reopening the shop at Alaba. Mm. What for? Ah, you can. What for? I don't understand you. Why do you want to reopen the shop? Or did I tell you I want to go back to that madness? Okay, what do you want to do? You cannot come back to Lagos and just sit at home eating food. <laughs> Ikem, if you want to open a shop, open one near your house. If not, forget it. Because I can't be begging you for anything. Uh -huh. You have to start thinking about Machi. Because she has to come back to Lagos too. Stop asking me silly questions. Why is there no breakfast in this house? But I'm just waking up now. Is this the time other women wake up from their husband houses? My brother left this morning without eating. <laughs> I didn't hear your brother complaining. But since you are so concerned, how come you did not prepare it for him? Rosemary! Again, I will break you into my, I will deal with you. I will, I will squeeze you. Who are you? Who do you think you are? Huh? What's going on here? Ask your brother. This house is my house. And I will not take kindly to anybody ordering me around. Hey, watch your mouth! Are you mad? You'll be the Rosemary is my wife. You don't hurt her in front of me. Don't ever try it again. Oh, so she has not become sacred that she can insult her elders and get away with it. Look, Rosemary, whatever they call you, if you open your mouth again and talk to me or insult me, I will deal with you squarely. Yes. Ikem. Ikem. 
I have had enough of all this nonsense. God knows I have tried so hard to please your family. But each time it is either one trouble or the other. Right now, it is either he leaves or I'll leave. I think you have to get ready and leave for the village. I have had enough. to your grandchild. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Where is the baby? Uh, 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 My children have given me a grandchild. Uh, 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 so I am alive to see uh, a grandchild. Uh, 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 Hold the child, 
Okay. You have done me proud. Where are you? Rosemary. his wife shedding crocodile tears when they are the same people that starved papa to death yes papa died of hunger or you don't know just keep quiet we shall see you see what is going to happen <laughs> they starved our father to death now they are parading their baby all over town they must suffer for killing my father <laughs> Ada. Ada. Is it not his father also? I don't care. He has to suffer. <laughs> Ada. Tell me what you want from him. <laughs> I want the new baby dead. That's the only thing to make them suffer. <laughs> So be it. When is your father's funeral? In a fortnight. Good. Take this. As the funeral is going on, Rub this substance into your palms. Carry it. Make sure that your palms touch the naked part of the baby's body. Hmm? You may now go. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you, Gudu.